When Tim Tebow graduated from the University of Florida, he left behind a big void at quarterback. Tebow won the Heisman Trophy and helped the Gators to a national championship in his career. Those would not be easy shoes to fill, but in came Phillip Brooks, young and upcoming quarterback who began his career amid some struggles. But in his junior season, he became one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, an All-American, leading the Florida Gators to an SEC title and a Sugar Bowl victory. In his final season at Florida, Phillip Brooks could not match a legacy that Tim Tebow left behind. The Gators fell short of their expectations of making it to the national championship game and had to settle for the Capital One Bowl game, in which Phillip Brooks led them to a come-from-behind victory with a minute left to go in the game. Phillip Brooks had a successful college career, but did not have the same successes that Tim Tebow had before him. With his heart now set on going to the NFL, many speculated upon who would draft the young quarterback from Florida. Many scouts said he was very pro-ready, he had a great arm and was very mobile, but others questioned his ability to read defenses in the NFL and made note of some of the costly mistakes Brooks made in big games in his college career. And so now with all of that behind him, Phillip Brooks was ready to go to the NFL. There was one team under the radar who needed a starting quarterback that decided to take a chance on Phillip Brooks. That team is the New York Jets. Phillip Brooks was drafted to replace Mark Sanchez and Tim Tebow. And so while the previous season was all about Tebow time and Tebow's great run with the Denver Broncos, Brooks Amania had leapfrogged Tebow time and this storyline became a center of attention in New York. And so I present to you with perhaps the franchise quarterback of the future for the New York Jets. Phillip Brooks came in his first game against the Dallas Cowboys, who came after him with a lot of pressure. DeMarcus Ware, Anthony Spencer, this defense was relentless against the rookie quarterback. Brooks, though, showed no fear here in the first half, down 13-0, leading the Jets downfield, hitting Dustin Keller here to get inside the 5-yard line, then looking to punch this one into the end zone on second down and goal. The Jets came out in a power-running formation, but Brooks dropped back to pass and immediately rolled to his right and ran into the end zone for his first NFL touchdown. Very Tebow-esque, I would have to say, running that one in for the score. In the second half, Brooks was much more calm in the pocket, here hitting Chaz Sheelans for a big first down 22-yard connection. Brooks would later throw a pick six that gave the Dallas Cowboys the lead, something scouts were worried about him doing in the NFL, where well, the Jets were willing to take the chance and now Brooks was trying to get himself out of this mess he created. On second down and 20, Brooks was sat coming clean off the edge bringing up third down and 26. Brooks knew this would not be an easy conversion, so when he dropped back to pass, he immediately took off and went to go get some yards, make this a more manageable fourth down scenario. He picked up 13 in the process, bringing up fourth down and 13. Not an easy conversion to go after, but Rex Ryan had other plans. He took his young quarterback off the field to punt the ball, and his defense could not get the ball back for the Jets. Phillip Brooks lost his first start of his career, and fans were angry that Brooks did not get the opportunity to make that fourth down conversion. But nonetheless, Phillip Brooks is the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. My Road to Glory quarterback is now in the NFL. If you guys want me to continue this series, I can keep making episodes, or I can just do it in a live stream of some sort. And so leave your feedback on Phillip Brooks being the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. It was a lot of fun actually playing with these guys in Madden once I finish up their college careers. And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.